Oh, God. Hey guys, welcome back to Batman. This is going to be part two of episode one. Let's get right into it. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy. Uh, I know I am. Well, let's do this. See what she was really after. Huh. The Batcave. Yellow as I chose it. Gotham feed. DA Dent pressures mayor to decry vigilantes. Police Lieutenant tap to lead task force. Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement. Oh, Memorial Hospital. Definitely better than Arkham Asylum. Alright, let's check out the Codex. Got Lieutenant Gordon. Oh. Mm, mom and dad <laughs> shot dead in an alleyway. Alfred Pennyworth, Harvey Dent, Hamilton Mayor Hill, Cat Burglar, <laughs> Cat Burglar, uh, James Gordon, Mickey Vale. Mm. Yada yada yada. All right. Let's see what's inside this uh, this hard drive. Nearly fell off a building for this. Got to be some good good stuff on there. You know, saving Miss Catwoman just to get that. I could have let her go. I could have not pressed X. But I didn't. So important. Yeah, encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I like this cave. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house. You know that. Then we should build an eight bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, king. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. 
Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. <coughs> <coughs> Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Tea. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. It's okay, Alfred. If you make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, <laughs> old men worry. That's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Eh. Oz. I thought I saw Oz. In what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... Idea. I'll give him a chance. He just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. You know what just came to mind, just out of curiosity? So you were born and raised rich, and you're still rich. So why go through all this trouble of trying to save a city? I guess it's, you know, righteous and all that, but... Jeez, instead of just like trying to like physically save the city, just you know donate money or something. Where are you, Oz? Something I wouldn't put your life on the line, you know. Ah, <laughs> oh, graffiti. Lots and lots of graffiti, I reckon. Wayne Shun's Balcony at Dent fundraiser. Hell yeah, I did. Fuck Balcony.
Cobblepot Park. Man. Seeming graffiti on this little thing right there. Oh, hey. There you go. Give you some change. Thank you, sir. See, that, that's what I mean. Just give other people money, because you have plenty of it. Don't have to die for it. Just to help people. But I guess doing things physically... I guess doing things physically... Great makes a bigger difference Statue I guess no odds. well at least we got a campaign running now so I hope that'll help good grief this whole park is littered with graffiti see graffiti boy oh boy a shopping cart a goddamn shopping cart and look at this guy he's smoking excuse me my good fellow you shouldn't be smoking man it's bad for you Beat it. Oh, oh, okay. Well, smoking is bad for you. You're gonna regret it. <sighs> well, it isn't what it used to be. It sure isn't, Bruce. I've never been able to read graffiti like this. I don't think I ever will. Alright, let's wait here by the statue with young master Oswald Cobblepot. I think that's his name. Watch Wallet Cash. Oh shit. But this goes through you. I don't even have a watch. Hey, you heard him, man. Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him. Uh oh. Gentlemen. Oz. Oz. Keep walking, all right. This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, in the moment. Come here. You think that'll do? Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> this used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh, jeez. Come on, Oz. That was a little bit too far. Bruce, you've got a little, uh, hey, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, uh, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Too far, man. You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Oh, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. It's a shame. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now, it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, this city chews right through people. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred told the only one suffering. 
Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. It's not what you think. No, 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 no. I only agreed to meet him because of Harvey. Beware of any man who smiles that much, Bruce. They're usually hiding a forked tongue. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... <laughs> It'd be a treat to watch him hit pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham bliss. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm not your enemy. To get I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Oh Good boy. Good seeing you, Bruce. But I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Oh, jeez. I like Oswald. He's pretty cool. But, uh... He seems like he's trying to stir up a, some some trouble, which is not good. Oh, is that my car? Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. Oh hell yeah! This way. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> no. But we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, Make black. it quick. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? <sighs> for those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, 
my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Sad times. Let's put a dent in crime. This facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent oh. even spoke with him behind closed doors. This is your fault, Harvey. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. What? Care to comment? No comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? No, 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 and no. What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. <laughs> Oh crap. That's not good. <laughs> uh, tied to my family? What? How's that possible? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a rumor. It's all Harvey's fault. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? Really, Gordon? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. Okay. Warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. 
Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I don't. Oh, if that's a picture of my parents, I'm going to be pissed. I'm pissed. Terrible. Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, you're really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce... A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. Probably the Falcone. saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters. Not wild speculation. <sighs> On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Oh boy, okay. Uh. Justice. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Oh, okay, good. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this. On the anniversary of your parents, it's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Oh boy. Harvey has something.